Is it time to buy or sell SPY ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into SPY. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, May 24, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 5, 2023, our system has ranked SPY as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.14. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has had natural fluctuations, but currently sits at a loss of minus 0.34% since our initial hold slash accumulate recommendation. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.02% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. The ETF lies in the middle of a narrow and weak rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential 6.23% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between 4.9% and 8.73%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 4.1% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 7.15% and 6.21%. This translates to a price range of $381.77 to $436.69 after a year. Our latest daily update for SPY includes the headline, Red Day on Wednesday for SPY. The SPY ETF price fell by minus 0.720% on the last day, Wednesday, May 24, 2023, from $414.14 .14 to $411.16. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 0.708% from a day low at $409.88 to a day high of $412.78. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 0.4% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 874,000 shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 86 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $35.37 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $431.73, and the lowest price was $348.11. Currently, the price is 4.76%, or $20.57, below the 52-week high, and 14.34%, or $68.82, below the all-time high on January 4, 2022, when the price reached $479.98. The following signals have been identified for SPY. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The SPY ETF holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $415.34 and $412.02. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, May 18, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 1.92%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the ETF should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 5 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 5 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 39 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 44 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 39 days ago. 
Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SPY On the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $389.28 and $385.91. There is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the ETF then may fall to the next support level. In this case, SPY finds support just below today's level at $389.28. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $385.91 and $385.36. In general the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $2.90 between high and low, or 0.708%. For the last week the ETF has had daily average volatility of 0.93%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SPY. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SPY is at $412.80. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, SPY encounters its first support level at $389.28. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $397.03, minus 3.44%. This ETF has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 4 days ago. Is SPY ETF a good buy? SPY holds several negative signals and this should be a sell candidate, but due to the general chance for a turnaround situation it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, May 25th, we expect SPY to open up $0.113 and start trading at $411.27. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.